Hi folks, it's Andy. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, I've got a uh, quick and informal video for you today. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, um, so I thought it was about time we did another one. Um, I came across this video and I thought it'd be nice to put out a bit of a translation of it. Um, it's not fantastic quality um, in terms of the video itself. Um, I think it's from quite a while ago, but it actually features um, the very famous player, uh, Susumu Takanabe, um, who was obviously very famous for his menwaza, but also um, very famous for winning the world championships with Tsuki. Um, he was very good at Tsuki as well. And this is a short lecture he's giving to some high school students about how to do Tsuki. Um, so uh, some great advice from him. Um, we'll have a look at it in just a moment. The channel that it's originally from is this one, FTMK1185. Um, so go and check out the original video. There's a, a link in the description and all that down below. Uh, before we jump into it though, don't forget to support the channel. Um, you can buy a t-shirt from our Teespring store. That's one way. Um, if you don't want a t-shirt, you want something more Kendo related, you can go and shop at kendostar.com. That's my website, of course. It's fantastic, amazing Kendo equipment. We've got Shinai Borgo, all the best stuff. Uh, and it is the greatest in the universe. And even if you don't need any of that stuff, instead of buying a t-shirt, you could even get a, just a Tenegui. We've got Tenegui's as well. Uh, this is our uh, flagship one, the Kendo is Life one. It says Kendo is Life on the bottom. And it says it in Japanese as well. It's a pretty cool Tenegui. Uh, so we've got all that stuff. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that sort of thing. Ring the Kendo bell because you've got to click subscribe and then ring the bell. That helps you get better at Kendo. We proved that with science uh, in Kendo Rant the other day. Um, so yeah, with all that said, let's get into the video. I've got headphones today so I can hear properly. Uh, right. <laughs> So, as I said, this is not an amazing quality video. Um, the footage itself, like I said, I think it's from quite a while ago. Um, but uh, it looks like it's some kind of seminar. Uh, here is Takanabe Sensei here, um, obviously giving this lecture to some high school students. Not a super long video, but um, we'll sort of go through it uh, and I'll, I'll pick out the major points. <laughs> So the first thing he's saying is about remaining in your kamae and not moving around too much before you do the tsuki. Of course, there's people that move the kensen up and down, um, but uh, he likes to keep the image of, of sort of remaining in the strong kamae. <laughs> Some people even drop this, the, the Kensen really quite low down and then uh, attack the ski from below, uh, below, sorry, but. So uh, he's sure that they all understand, but um, especially if you lower the, the, the Kensen, if your semi isn't uh, good, uh, if you make a mistake, then you're going to receive the strike. So Tsuki is all about uh, having effective semi, uh, is the point that he's trying to make. So uh, he says that a, a point he'd like to make is that instead of thinking about uh, tsuki as if your semi doesn't work and don't think of it as if your semi doesn't work don't do the waza uh, just consider that it, it will not be effective um, if your semi doesn't work you will not hit the target here he's making a point clearly that he's not talking about katate tsuki he's talking about morote tsuki so two-handed ski as opposed to one-handed ski. <clears throat> that would be uh, a slightly different uh, subject. So you have to, you have to, um, you have to, with the two-handed ski, you really have to, perform the effective semi. He's, he's sort of repeating this a bit, but I think he really wants to hammer this home. This home. Um, you have to have the good semi uh, and try not to lose the, the debana, 
um because if that happens then um you you kind of uh you know you you're doomed and of course uh when you want to actually strike it's important that your intentions aren't revealed if you do that if 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 you're you know, if your intentions are real, you'll end uh, revealed. You'll end up with this sort of uh, this this sort of ski, which is ineffective. So for him, he says he doesn't really like to drop the kensen and stuff like that. He likes to keep his kamae, and it's almost the same as when he does a men strike. Um, obviously, it's a slightly different movement, but it's almost exactly the same as like he does a men strike. He keeps his kamae and then straight forward uh, for the for the ski. <laughs> With almost without moving from his kamae, just straight forward, and obviously he's extended his arms slightly. Of course, there's lots of variations that some people do. Some people even lift the kensen like this and then do tsuki. But for me, I, I think this is the best to stay in kamae and then step forward uh, and strike this way. So he likes to he likes to think that when the opponent thinks that they're going to come for men, of course he's very famous for having the very uh, fast and successful men strike. So I expect a lot of people react towards feeling that they're going to strike get losing men. They'll kind of react like this, and in response to that reaction, that's a great chance for ski is the the idea of what he's saying. So just like when you do men strike, uh, you have to do the correct fumikomi as you as you step forward. Use your feet. Please don't forget this. Try to avoid just sticking your hands out. Of course, this this can sometimes work, but but this usually results in you leaving your feet behind, just sticking out with your arms. Uh, and if you're not successful, then you're gonna receive the the, the strike back. But even if you miss, uh, if you leap forward properly with Fumikomi, then you'll still be able to close the distance and you'll be safe from a counter-attack. So, use the proper Fumikomi to avoid that. And then if you miss, then you can, you can make a follow-up strike yourself. If you don't just give up like this. Because this is the practice you're practicing in order to improve your skill. If it was the real match, uh, then if you missed, you immediately want to make another strike. So you have to make sure you do that in the practice as well, otherwise you won't be able to do it automatically. So if you miss, make a follow-up strike. And keeping from the kamae position, just holding that straightforward forward ski. Uh, let's try that for practice. 
and that's the end. That's the end of it. Okay, so very very short talk uh, from Mr. Takanabe there um, about uh, ski, how he does ski. Of course, like I say, he, he actually achieved victory in the individual uh, men's division of the World Kendo Championships um, with this technique. Um, Really interesting, I thought, personally. Uh, keeping the come air as opposed to moving the Kensen around all the time before you try and leap in. Um, almost like the same way as if you were attacking men, making sure you do the proper fumikomi and bringing up the left leg with that hikitsuke so that if you miss, you can immediately make another strike and you're not going to receive a counter-attack yourself. Um, hope you enjoyed. Only short and sweet, but um, I thought it was a, a nice little gem that I found out there on YouTube. Um, I hope it was useful. Like I say, sorry that it's not an amazing quality video, but you get you get the gist of what we're saying. Um, I think that's the, the important thing is the actual knowledge you can get from it. Um, thanks for joining me for today. Don't forget to do all the things I said at the beginning of the video, like and all that sort of thing. Shop at Kendo Star, buy a t-shirt, all that stuff. See See you next time, folks. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.